Hey everyone, it's me Nick Brown and welcome to my YouTube channel. Century, doing something mean to it, do it better. Okay, to start off, it's another out of the day video. Um, this is gonna be more of a day going to an evening look. You can go on a date or just have fun with your friends, go to the movies, just um, hanging out look. It's very cute, it's flirty also. So, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Okay, to start this look off, um, I got these earrings, these stud earrings, both of them, from H&M. This is when I went to New York with my best friend um, a couple of weeks ago. And it comes in a thing like this, and it comes with um, pearl hoops, I mean pearl studs, diamond studs, and gold studs. And from they range from small medium to large. I took out all the small ones as you can see but they're small, medium and large and they, these were only $3.95 at H&M. They're gold bracelets and they came from my sister's hair salon because she sells jewelry in her shop. So these were only $5 in her shop. And I don't have a necklace on and it feels kind of weird because I always have at least a like one necklace but I figured this shirt um, doesn't need it and it's a floor top now so it's been bright and sunny outside so I have these um, sunglasses that I got maybe a year ago from Forever 21 and they always have um, two, four, eight. They're dark at the top like this and you can see and then it goes, it fades down to a lighter brown and even on the sides it's darker right here and it fades out to a lighter brown. Okay, here's the outfit. Um, in this white skirt my mom gave me and it was, it's actually a longer um, skirt but I didn't like it so long so I just rolled it up and added a black belt which came from um, a dress I used to have that I didn't really like, but I liked the belt, so I, took, I cut the belt out of the dress and used it as a, um, just like a regular belt to throw on, whatever. Um, but this has a chunky piece right here, it's like a rectangle, and so usually I'll match it up with a skirt, or even over top of a cardigan or a long dress, just to cinch the waist. And um, this top is from Conway, it's a full top, and has like ruffles going down the neck area and then it'll stop at a midpoint right here it has these red buttons going down it and it's tucked into the skirt with the um, help of the belt the belt actually helps it stay inside the dress and I pull it out a little bit so it won't be so cinched up and has um, like these red, blue, green and yellow and pink uh, flowers everywhere and I matched it with a black cardigan, which I got from Perfect One. This was about $12 at Perfect One I got it last year. And I rolled up the sleeves because, um, just because, you know, like with this type of sweater, you're not really supposed to throw it in the washing machine. You want to hand wash it. Um, in the beginning, I didn't realize that, and I put it in the washing machine, and the sleeves are really loose. So often, I have to roll up the sleeves because it'll be way too loose on my arm. So, um, yeah, I rolled it up. And this black cardigan is from 421 once again. And this skirt has like little um, holes. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see it now. Um, like little cut out designs everywhere. And it's very loose and flirty and fun and like <laughs> moves with you. And um, I rolled it up to about halfway up my thigh. Not too short. Like a little bit above my knee. It's not too short. Um, the longest it goes to is a little bit above um, your ankle, but just because I didn't like, want that for that look, um, I didn't want to wear it. So you guys know, you guys should know, you don't have to wear things the way you buy them. I, this skirt is long, but I'm not wearing it long. I rolled it up, and I'm wearing it as a short skirt, and you would know, you would never know the difference unless I told you. Um, so yeah, you need to experiment with your clothing because you never know. And the shoes I'm wearing are these red shoes. They're kind of like a darker red. Yeah, I would say they're burgundy color. Um, and I got these maybe two years ago from Payless. This is when I was living in Hagerstown. And um, yeah, they have these little like ribbons on the front and they're bows. 
and then it matches exactly with the color, the most profound color in the top. I'm sorry for the delay in the video because I was going to do it from earlier in the week. That was my plan, but unexpectedly, um, I found out I'm allergic to cucumbers. Um, I never had cucumbers before, and uh, I just figured I wouldn't like it. I don't like really any vegetables except for, like corn and broccoli. So um, I just always take them out. Well, um, I was getting my hair washed at my sister's hair salon, and she had a salad, and um, she offered me some because I was at the shop for a long time and I was hungry. So she gave me some of her salad and had cucumbers in it. Tried the cucumber. It was, didn't taste like anything, so I just was like, whatever, I ate it. I told her, oh yeah, it's my first time, it's not that bad. Um, so later on in the day, I noticed my lips were turning kind of red, but um, I didn't think anything of it. Um, so my lips were red throughout the day, and um, I went home. So I woke up in the morning, and my lips are like this, like huge. They're so, I mean, my lips are big now, I know, but... You can imagine these being even bigger. And um, so I woke up in the morning and I could tell something was different. Um, my brother came in the room and he was like, why are your lips swollen? Didn't know what he was talking about. I felt something different about my lips, but I didn't think swollen. So they're red, they're big, and um, like it felt like I had chapped lips or something and they felt like really dry. If I didn't put nothing on it, like chapstick or something or the gloss, they felt extra dry, like ridiculously dry. A couple days later, like right now, it's a couple days later and it's like back to no normal, but they feel weird, like they're still rough and dry. So I don't, if I don't have lip gloss on, they feel extra dry and I feel uncomfortable. So um, I'm assuming, I haven't, I didn't go to the doctor, um, I'm assuming that I'm allergic to cucumbers because that's the only thing I ate uh, and then that's what I started feeling my lips being different but um I'm not 100 percent sure i don't want to test it out again but i don't know i'm assuming i'm allergic to cucumbers and that's the only thing i'm allergic to so uh yeah don't ever give me cucumbers ever i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for the lateness my next uh outfit of the day video will be outfit of the night by request of my new subscriber fashion queen of curves nice name so see you guys later